In this industry, we have to keep all our production equipment clean. And not just because we're clean, sanitary people. I mean clean down to the microscopic level. The presence of microbes is a major risk to our products and ultimately our customer's safety. We use pressurized moist heat, saturated steam to kill microbes. Small items can be sterilized in an autoclave like this one. But for large items or fixed equipment, we use steam in place systems where saturated steam is piped directly into the equipment. But wait, this isn't a video about sterilization. Steam's unique physical properties present some real and potentially devastating challenges. And that's what we want to look at today. Always make sure to wear your PPE, lab coat, gloves, and safety glasses. When water boils, it turns into steam. Steam has a much larger volume than water. So one liter of water can produce 1,600 liters of steam. That expansion generates a lot of pressure. The reverse is also true. If you have a system pressurized with 1,600 liters of steam and suddenly the temperature drops, well, what happens to the steam? It condenses back into water, and that's called a steam collapse. 1,600 liters becomes one liter, creating a vacuum. I think this principle will be a lot clearer after we smash some stuff. Want to try it? Let's go to the lab. Add about 500 milliliters of water to a 1,000 milliliter Pyrex beaker. Place a stir bar in the beaker and set it on the hot plate. Turn up the hot plate temperature control until the water comes to a rolling boil. While we're waiting, fill a bucket about one third of the way with ice and add enough water to completely cover the ice. Transfer 100 milliliters of boiling water into an empty plastic soda bottle, cap it, and submerge the bottle in the ice bath. Let's see that again. The bottle collapses on itself. Okay, so you're not impressed. Let's try the experiment again, this time with an empty aluminum soda can. Transfer 10 to 20 milliliters of boiling water to the can and place the can on the hot plate until you see steam rising from the opening. We can't cap an open soda can, so instead, in one fast motion, turn the can over and submerge it into the ice bath. <laughs> Woohoo! Soda pop! Let's have an instant replay. So why did the bottle and the can collapse? Remember that gases like steam take up more space than liquid. The container fills with the steam and pushes out the air. The ice bath cools the steam very quickly and it collapses back into water. The water takes up less space than steam, creating a vacuum. Now the air pressure outside the container is much higher than the inside. With almost 700 pounds of force pushing on the bottle and the can, and of course, they both collapse. Vacuum smashing bottles and cans is fun and takes up less space in your recycling. But why is this experiment important? As I said when we started, we use steam all the time in biomanufacturing. You'll be operating and maintaining production equipment like mixing tanks and fermenters and using steam in place systems. These vessels have to be properly vented and sterilized according to the SOP because they have the same potential to collapse. It's hard to believe, but a 5,000 liter bioreactor can collapse just like an aluminum can. Thanks for watching.